Well, this is it, you guys. This is one of the biggest days here on Lola's farm. Today, we're gonna be officially done with the outside of our bathroom. We've been working on this bathroom for almost a year now, and our main focus so far has just been all on the outside, all the exterior. Today, we're gonna be tying it all together. This is like the last leg of bringing all the pieces together to make the outside look as beautiful as it possibly can. But we're gonna be doing all of this work in the tundra of this mountainside here in Panama. We are getting 40 to 50 mile an hour gusts today. It is ripping, but nothing's gonna stop us, baby. We're just gonna keep chugging along on this. I cannot wait to see this bathroom all finished up on the outside. Uh, so here's what I'm thinking. Wow. You're much cleaner than I am. So you're gonna do all the finish work. Ooh, I'm gonna get I going like on. I like that. I like I'm that. gonna get going on the trim. Okay. So what you need to do is you see all these little holes here yeah. from all the nails. Yeah. You're gonna take the center punch. Ooh, I like this. And then you're gonna punch them all in. Then you're gonna take this wood filler. I like this and, even more. And then you're gonna spread it on there with this spatula. Beautiful. <laughs> and if there's any nails that are sticking out, you take them out with this. Perfect. And while Kaylee gets going on that, I'm gonna get working on trimming out these top windows here, cutting some wood, painting it, and getting it in place. So you can see some of these tiny, tiny little nails are just sticking out just a little bit. And then we just take this handy dandy little pointer thing, give it a little bang bang. I am gonna enjoy this <laughs> very much so. <laughs> Step number one is we need to cut a bunch of pieces of wood at two inches that are gonna sit right on this lip right here. The wood's gonna hang over the edge and it's gonna go all the way around the window. So the measurement that we need is two inches. Now I'm just gonna slap a coat of paint on these pieces of wood. This is matte black paint, and I've honestly been loving using this paint, mostly just because it dries so fast. I don't know if you guys have ever used gloss paint before, but it takes like, I don't know, it feels like it takes all day to dry, and then it's still kind of tacky. It's actually kind of funny to me how much love we've been putting into even just this one side of the bathroom. But that just proves to us just how much a bathroom means to us at this point in our lives. This is not only gonna be just, you know, an off-grid spa, we're gonna have our toilet in there, our shower, our sauna, a tub, a laundry, a laundry, a washer and dryer, but this is like the first official bathroom we're gonna have in five years. So no wonder why, no wonder why we're putting so much love into this thing. I also just feel like we've had a totally different mindset for the build of this bathroom compared to our workshop or our temporary tiny home because we were just kind of rushing through that build. We just wanted to get in there, move in there. I was pregnant while we were finishing up that build so we just needed a bigger space for when Sadie was born. Whereas now like yeah we desperately want a toilet but I mean, we don't really need a bathroom, so we're kind of really just taking our time and just putting so much care and attention into every single detail of this build. look like a little 16 year old boy with a lot of pimples and a lot of toothpaste covering it up <laughs> but this whole side is totally done now we just got to wait for this wood filler I'm pretty sure I've been calling this wood filler wood glue this entire morning until this moment I just realized we'll have to find out when we edit it. <laughs> Ah. 
I just burnt the absolute crap out of my hand. I grabbed a pan that was on the stove that I forgot was still extremely freaking hot. And I just burnt this whole section of my hand. I was literally in tears, it hurt so bad. Karen just left, Sade's down for a nap. But I really, really wanna try to get this whole side here sanded down and painted before she wakes up. That's it, 20 minutes later, she's awake. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see if I get to being able to finish sanding and painting that today. <laughs> She's a bunny. <laughs> Are you a bunny? So we are absolutely drowning in goat milk right now. We have so much goat milk. So when we have too much to fit in our fridge or give away, we just give it to the chickens. Give that one to Alma. Right here, baby. Give it to her. Yeah. Thank you. Cup. Cup. Lala. Lala. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling a little defeated right now. Our plan was actually to wrap this entire garden bed with plastic to protect it from the wind. Once the windy season came back, these last couple days, we've just gotten annihilated, absolutely annihilated. We're so many of these seedlings are broken. I think some of them I will be able to save, but a lot of these I'm gonna have to start from scratch again. But man, it is so freaking hard to grow here. There are just so many elements that we need to keep in mind. And if you're wondering, I need to be holding something frozen because my hand is in so much pain from that stupid burn I got this morning. I don't even know if I want to show you guys because it's pretty gnarly. It's already starting to like bubble up right here. So I think this is what the rest of my day is going to look like until it starts to settle down a little bit. You know what having a child does? It inspires me to tap back into kind of my own inner child. She's over here using these little orange levels and she's, she's building a house. She said, house, I'm building a house. You see that little piece of silver beam left? This piece right here is gonna go up there and cover it up. Well, it's been probably like five hours since I burnt the crap out of my hand. And that's what it looks like right now. <laughs> a big giant blister right here and then here and here. I have yet to take an ice pack off of it because if I have one off for more than like a minute, it just starts hurting so bad again. But Jord's been absolutely crushing it on the trim. Sadie has been having an absolute blast just running around outside all day today. It's been so gorgeous out. And I truly am just like, man, soaking this up right now because it should be downpouring right now. But unfortunately, I did not get to what I wanted to get to today with the sanding and the painting of this side so that this side was completely done. So tomorrow we'll have to do, tomorrow I should have that whole side completely done. I gotta be honest with you guys right now, I'm bumming a little bit. I really wanted to get a lot more done than this, but my hope was to get this whole front done today and then we could get the other side done tomorrow, but it's not even halfway done. So the only way I know how to kind of counter this and kind of counter the feeling of defeat is just get after it even harder tomorrow, get started earlier work a little bit harder and yeah, just try to bring everything that we got into tomorrow. We actually had to take kind of like our little awning. See this piece of fabric here? We had to take it down because it was turning into a massive kite with all this wind. The wind's been so strong. But no amount of rain or wind or anything is gonna stop me today. I'll be out here working on the outside of this bathroom until the sun sets. Because I'm gonna do everything that I can to get this done. I've mentioned this to you guys before, but recently what I've been doing is actually delaying two hours in the morning before I have my coffee. And the first thing that goes into my body is AG1. 
You guys should probably know this by now, but AG1 has been an absolute staple in Jordan and I's diet. We drink it every single day and have been for the last three years. With the amount of stuff that Jordan and I have on our plate, and don't get me wrong, we absolutely love it. We love being busy, we love everything that we do. It is so important for us to stay as healthy as we can. So AG1 acts as basically a nutritional insurance to make sure all of our basics are covered. And it is packed with 75 vitamins and minerals that are sourced from actual whole foods. So it's so much more bioavailable and easier to digest. And the best part, it tastes so dang good. Ever since I've been drinking this stuff, I truly feel like a significant difference in just my energy levels throughout the day, my vitality, and just the amount of muscle that I can bring. So if you guys are interested in trying out AG1, you can click the link in our description box below and you will get five of these travel packs for free with your purchase, plus a vial of vitamin D3 and K2, which is something that Jordan and I use also use every single day. Also, quick little burn update. <laughs> that looks so freaking gnarly. Oh my God. You have it all over, you have it here too, I know, Sudi. I know. Yeah, I have it in my finger You're not here. supposed to like pop that thing open? And no, get it, everything, everything it says online says to just leave it alone. Ugh. I, And everything online said yesterday, do not put ice on it. But I could not bear the pain without ice on it. Why I did iced, you put ice on it? I iced it for like seven hours yesterday. And after I iced it for seven hours, it felt great. The pain is definitely significantly subsided. But I can't really use my right hand at all, so. <laughs> I'm gonna get really good at using my left hand for the next few days. <laughs> this is one of those situations where just to put up one piece of trim right here, I need to do this corner first. And in order to do this corner first, I need to do all of this window first. But in order to do this window first, I need to finish up the plisum over there. <laughs> so just to put in one little one foot piece of trim, I gotta go all the way around to the other side of the building and do a totally different task. So. I've been pushing this Plysem install for a little bit just because I'm so sick of it. It just gets powder everywhere. But uh, now's the time to get it done. And the fun part is these are all the hardest pieces to put in because they're all angled and they all butt up against that wood roof. And if they're not tight, it's gonna look really bad. So I need to make this perfect. down. I'm just going to give this whole side just a little wipe down to get all of the residual powder so we can get a nice, beautiful, fresh coat of paint on here. It's almost done, you guys. It's almost done! This side, I feel like, has been a long time coming. But again, this is the most important side. This is the side that, you know, most people are going to see. Man, but I'm so, so happy with how it's coming out. I hate to say this, but we still got a long way to go. On the outside. Yeah. I know. I feel like before, we probably would have just given up and been like, eh, we'll do it later. And no, then... yeah, we started to cut a bunch of corners. Yeah. Just yeah. like we did with everything else in exactly. our life. Exactly. But now, we're learning the hard way. We're learning the hard way. We're sticking to it. We're sticking through it. We're gonna get this done eventually. <laughs> Whew. That's it. Wow, that was a lot of work. I feel like my face is just covered in white powder. I'm so happy with how this is turning out. I worked so hard at making sure that that line right there was as tight as it possibly could be. And I'm just so happy with how it came out. I'm wiped, but I'm not stopping, baby. I'm just gonna keep going as hard as I can. That's all I got. That's all the light that I got. That's all the time that I got. That's all the energy that I got. I didn't get it all done. We're pretty close. It's looking so good, but honestly, there's still at least a whole nother day or two of trim to go. But not only am I out of sunlight, but I am needed elsewhere. We are five days away 
from one of the biggest days of our lives, one of the biggest days of our coffee business's life. And there's just a lot going on in the background. And I wanna share some of that with you guys because it's madness. <laughs> All right, baby, it's go time. That was quick. Should make it down there just in time. now. That's a nearly 14 hour workday for me since I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning and believe it or not but this guy Arturo has been here pouring coffee through that whole time since 6 a.m. he's been going at it too because Arturo is representing our business in the Brewers Cup and it's an opportunity for our business to show that we have some of the best coffee in the world. This brand new Minus 20. So we got liquid nitrogen, we got frozen balls. What's going on here? Well, we are doing the best we can to take a shot at the Brewers Cup this year. Uh, it has been challenging. Uh, the timing, you know, the announcement, uh, the coffee availability, and we have good coffee in our hands. We just have to keep working hard and grinding and stretching ourselves, do whatever it takes. It's only uh, 9.46, but we're drinking coffee that roasted would be hundreds of dollars a pound, so we can't be complaining. We can't be complaining, so, <laughs> but I mean, at the end, it, you do feel a little bit overwhelmed sometimes. If, if I was single, if I didn't have any kids, uh, if we didn't have if I wasn't partner of the morning movement, they have, wasn't shipping coffee. Roasting to, coffee. Roasting coffee, shipping coffee. You know, if my car didn't break down as much <laughs> as it does. Yeah, it's challenging, but you know, you know what they say, you have to live up to the challenges that are presented to you in life. The, the, the people who win are the ones that are willing to do the things that the other people weren't. That's well, what we're doing. That's why we're here at 10 o'clock, baby. Let's do it. You're gonna win. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. I'll be back at the same time. Adios, Dali. Same time, same place? Yeah, same time, same place. I'm planning on being here every day until you compete, just so you know. And we're going to be sharing this whole journey with you guys, too. All the way through the preparation, all the way through the journey to Panama City, and all the way through to Arturo competing, representing our business, and trying to show the world that we have some of the best coffee in the world. We're gonna be launching two coffees in celebration of this, one called Willy and one called Wonka. You guys will hear more about this on the next video, but if you wanna pre-order a bag early, we do have them up for pre-order on our website, so I'll link that down in the description below if you guys wanna grab one. Well, you guys, my family's in bed. They're asleep, and I'm not far behind them. I'm going up right now, hopping in bed, passing out, getting up bright and early and starting all over again next time so thank you guys so much for following along thank you for supporting us we love you so much and we'll see you on the next one